Move over, mummy bloggers. The daddy bloggers are moving into cyberspace. The number of stay-at-home dads in Australia is on the rise. These are men who want to be heard about their role and they're turning to the internet. In the same way as mummy bloggers. Yay! Daddy bloggers are men who write personal, confessional blogs about their day-to-day -day lives. And they're an emerging force online. And Clint Gregan is a stay-at-home dad and a daddy blogger, and he joins us now. Clint, good morning to you. G'day, Sam. How long have you been a daddy blogger for? Or, sorry, how long have you been a stay-at-home dad for? Um, just over six years now, so I've been in the trenches for a fair while. Sure. <laughs> you look a little traumatised. Was this a, um, My you know, a, bit tired, I know. a decision that you and your partner made, you know, based on um, financial considerations, or is it something you'd always wanted to do, be a stay-at-home dad? Um, there's a, there's a bit of all of that in there. We, my wife's had, you know, very direct career goals for a long time, and I just sort of worked for cash, so <laughs> I didn't have much connection to my job. So when we decided we wanted the kids to be at home and not in childcare, we it was just sort of a natural decision um, mm. yeah, that right. would make us both happy. So. Good on you. There so are 39,000 um, stay-at-home dads in Australia these days. All those that, those that um, sort of put themselves down as a stay-at-home dad in the census. Um, of course there are about 400 something thousand stay-at-home mums I think. But I mean you, you have said that the differences between men and women as parents are overstated. Talk to us about that. Um, I, I just think that once men start um, spending more time in the role, spending more time as hands-on hands parents, that uh, they just develop all the skills that women have developed over the years. I think the roles have sort of been, men and women have been defined by the roles and for a long time it's just been sort of, you know, a, a person that went to my website said it'll be good when mum at home is no longer the default setting mm. um, and I think it's getting there. Um, so now it's like me and my wife, it's become more of a decision, you know. Um, you sit down, it's not no longer you're born a girl, you're a stay-at-home mum, you're born a boy, you're going to be working at the walking wallet type thing. Mm. Yeah. And, and once you spend time in the, in the role, all these things about men being less emotional and women being less practical, it just yes. becomes nonsense because you, you develop those skills when you're around that more often, you know? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, that's really interesting. So tell us, what, tell us about your average day. Um, average day is... Uh, it's always funny getting that question because they're never really average. There's <laughs> certain things that happen, but there's always crazy things that happen that you could never tell someone who's uh, not a stay-at-home parent um, because they just don't get it. But, uh, you know, nappies, feeding kids, getting up in the morning, going to school, chucking them in the car, repeating <laughs> yourself a hundred times, shoes on, shoes on, shoes on, <laughs> car, 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 have you got your seatbelt on? Have you got your seatbelt on? Or just say get your seatbelt on, that sort of stuff. <laughs> How old are um, your kids? <laughs> I've got um, four boys, oh Archie, Lewis, Mackie and Tyson, and they're eight, yeah. six, four and two. Oh, just oh, just wow. very quickly, Clint, because um, sadly we have to leave it here pretty soon. Um, uh, uh, companies have seen the commercial potential of mummy blogs, um, and you know some of them are really uh, greatly um, uh, remunerated for their thoughts nowadays. Do you think daddy blogs have a different commercial appeal, or it's all part and parcel of the same you know, parental blogging? Um, I think that we've got, there's, there's certain differences. I think they're, again, they're way overstated. Um, I often, you know, for some reason people contact me with things like, you know, wrenches and stuff. And I'm just, ha, ha, I, I couldn't, ha, ha, I've got no, ha, nothing to do with wrenches. <laughs> My wife's better with wrenches. Well, there you go. So, but yeah, I think um, the potential's there. We've just got a real connection with the audience, I think. So yeah. they trust us and they've, they've, they've come along with the writers who have built up our blogs. And so there's, there's a, you've got to be careful when you're, accepting things like that, that it sort of fits into your life. And yeah, yeah. So you well, generally knock back more than you say yes to. Mm. You're trying to get rid of me, aren't you? We, we, well, we not you, get rid of you. Can you tell by the tone? They're sort we, of, okay, yeah, cheers, yeah, thanks, mate. When we start uh, <laughs> yeah. Just get in the car, all right? We're out I mean, of we've got to go, we've got to go. <laughs> but we do like you. I, I think no you're worries. quite a character. <laughs> and your blog thanks. is called Reservoir Dad. Yeah. And all the details we will put on our website, so anyone who wants to take a look at it can uh, that do that. That would be that. excellent. But Clint, yeah, boys. you're fab. Yes, Thanks, say hi, hi to the kids for Look, us. Look, Daddy's on television. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you, mate. See you soon. See you.